In today's Pro Tools quick tip, I'm going to be showing you how to import an AAF file into your Pro Tools session. Now, for those of you not familiar with an AAF file, it's basically an export from, it could be a video editing software, it could be another DAW, but basically what it does is it translates the timeline of that software into a universal format that can be imported into not any piece of software because some of them don't import AAF files. Like for example, Logic Pro doesn't, but in our case, Pro Tools imports these files and it allows us to have a seamless transition from video editing software to audio post-production software. So that's most likely what you're gonna be dealing with if you're looking up videos such as this one. And if you are, then you're in the right place. So the first thing we're gonna to do to get started if you have a template that you use for the kind of work that you're doing, I highly recommend booting that up first instead of opening an empty Pro Tools session because you won't be able to import your template afterwards, after the fact. So let's start off with one of my personal audio post-production templates, which is going to be the short film in this case. And if you're looking for uh, templates like you have nowhere to start, it's, this is brand new to you and you're looking for a good reference, a good starting point in regards to this type of work, then you can actually purchase a template pack that I offer on our eShop. And I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description if ever you're interested. It'll basically be the same templates that you see in front of you over here and more are gonna be added as time goes by. So now that we have that set up, you want to make sure your settings are accurate, 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. That's what we want for, let's say we were doing a short film, that would be the correct choice. And the location, make sure to have a, a good uh, grasp on this because sometimes you'll end up like creating a session and you have no idea where it ends up. So just make sure you know where it's going and then you can hit create. So. While that's getting loaded up, as you can see, I have a client folder right here with the AF files already there. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna drag your AF file into your session like this. Don't double click it, otherwise it's gonna open a new session. That's fine, don't, don't pay attention to that message. And as you can see over here, these are the files that are going to be added into my session. Now you do want to create new tracks, you can you know, assign them to tracks that already exist if you want, but I, I don't recommend doing this. And I'm gonna explain why in just a few moments. So let's leave it at new track. All the default settings over here are fine, but you may want to check import rendered audio effects if ever it is available. In most cases it isn't, but you know, you never know, like might as well just check it just in case. And other than that, it, it keeps pretty much everything, the cuts, the clip gain, uh, adjustments like it'll it'll basically whatever the video editor did it'll you'll have access to it which is pretty cool so we press OK and it says it will change the the, the frame rate you definitely want to click OK because you don't want to be editing in a different frame rate than your source video file that would be very problematic so make sure to click OK on that prompt and as you can see over here it's a little small maybe not the best project to use an ex as an example, because this is actually just for like a social media reel, but um, it'll do for this example actually. So the next thing I wanna do, and this is why I wanted it on new audio files, and you can also notice that it didn't import the video file automatically. That happens sometimes. If that happens, then just, you know, manually import the video file into your session and all will be well. But other than that, let's actually move these AF file, well, whatever audio files are linked to this AAF import into a new folder, which I will call AAF. Could be a basic folder, okay? Routing folder is uh, you have a limited quantity apparently, so you don't wanna use those for insignificant things such as this. But I like to bring it up to the top of my session like this and then what I like to do afterwards is just mute it. And I like to keep my AAF folder exactly the way it was when it was imported. I don't change anything. So this is my backup. Like if ever anything goes wrong or whatever, I can always go back to this. And 
what I do, you know, like let's say I want to start organizing things, like I have some dialogue tracks in here, I'll just start copy pasting them, not drag and dropping them, copy pasting them into their appropriate folders. So that way, like I said, it just preserves the integral of the AAF import. So that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, but that's pretty much all there is to it. It might seem a little bit daunting at first if you've never done it before, but it's a pretty pretty seamless process, you know, once you're, you get used to it, and trust me, you will get used to it. So, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for templates, remember, I'll leave a link to uh, the template pack in the description. But other than that, as usual, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more Pro Tools quick tips just like this one.